Hey everyone, good to see ya. Today we're going to do a quick little video to show you how to keep your mug slim fatty in tune. These ones are fairly notorious for having some temperature and tuning stability issues and it's kind of a feature of analog in general but the slim fatties were especially noted for it and there's a real quick and easy way to make your slim fatty stay in tune and how to keep it in tune when it starts to drift out because of temperature issues. All right. Now, presumably you've got your Slim Fatty here, you've got it turned on. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you've had it turned on for about 10 to 15 minutes. It really depends on where you live, how long it takes for the synth to warm up and get to its uh, stable tuning base. I live in an area with a fairly cold climate, so it does take me a bit longer to let this thing warm up than you might if you lived in a more equatorial region. So. I've let this thing warm up for a little while, and now I'm going to show you my secret weapon for keeping this thing in tune when it drifts out. And that is this. It's just a simple Korg chromatic tuner. Picked it up from a local music shop. It was like 20 bucks, I think, maybe 30 at the most. It was not too expensive. I used to have one of these when I was a kid, and I used to play a brass instrument. But I got this more recently so that I could keep this in tune and double check any analog since I get in the future that might have possible tuning stability issues so that I could get them in tune and mitigate them. And this is not only useful for newbies and people trying to get their analog synth in tune right out the gate, it's also useful if you've been buying any of my Slim Fatty sound sets because the way that I make the quasi super saws on there does require some wild experimenting with detuning and you'll want to use one of these kinds of chromatic tuners to get the tuning stabilized around the frequency you're actually trying to hit. So I'm just going to start playing uh, the calibration note on the synth here just so that you can hear the bass tone. It's, I've just got a saw wave queued up right now. We're going to see if it's in tune and then we're going to get it in tune if it's not. As you can see, this thing is wicked out of tune right now. So what I'm going to do is bring up the pitch there on the fine tune. And I'm gonna put my tuner in the danger zone here just so that I can keep an eye on it. And down here on the fine tune knob, I'm going to start pulling the pitch up. So let's listen to what happens as I do that. There we go. Now we've got it in tune. And that's really all there is to it. Just keep a chromatic tuner handy so that you can catch the pitch when it seems like it's drifting out and then use the fine tune knob to pull it back in and get it back under control. That's pretty much all there is to it. So catch you all next time.